for the Olympic medalist family feud special featuring the Evelyn Ashford team who last summer for the United States won a total of 11 gold and three silver medals. Competing against the Greg Louganis team who, in 1984, reaped a total of seven gold and two silver medals for America. Let's start the Olympic medalist family feud special. With the star of family feud, Richard Dawson. Thank you. Thank you. For me, this is magic time because the summer of 84, the whole world was enthralled. They predicted every disaster, but the plague was going to happen to the Olympics. Smog was going to kill everybody. Terrorists were going to come in. Instead of that, magic happened. And truly, as a new American, I never, ever felt such excitement and pride for this country that these athletes helped bring it. And I thank all of you. You were marvelous. Just marvelous, right here. You represent 23, 23 medals, 18 gold and five silver. These 10 individuals earned. They're magnificent. They're going to earn money right now for a very, very special charity dear to their hearts. We win a whole lot of money, as you know. We play for ten thousand dollars. That's fifty thousand dollars for the whole week. Make them feel at home. Give them my love here, the female medalist, How you doing? I want to welcome you now. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. Track. What do you get? Two gold. Two gold medals. <gasps> Just here. Beautiful. May I meet all of your? Uh, Fellow members okay, here. Okay, this is Julian McNamara next to me. Hello, Tom. And mm -hmm. she won a gold medal and two silver medals in gymnastics. Yes, fantastic. Thank you. You in Houston yesterday? Yesterday. Houston? We had, they taped one of our shows that we did an exhibition before. Right, performance. in the summit in Houston. Mm -hmm. You were as delightful as ever. Thank you. Okay, and then there's Tracy Ruiz, and she won two gold medals in synchronized swimming. She did indeed. You're beautiful, darling. Thank you. Okay. And Nancy Hogshead. Yeah. Uh, three gold medals and one silver medal in uh, swimming. Swimming, that's the truth. And? Uh, Tracy Calkins, three gold medals swimming. Magic time. <laughs> this, this is for you, from all of us. Oh, would you hold all of my flowers yes, one second? <laughs> well, because I want to show this. The 1984 Olympic Games. Isn't that beautiful? I thank all of you. That's great. <laughs> With a pen. Thank you. That's why. What charity will you play for? We're playing for the Special Olympics. Okay. I should give you two just to hold it. I'm very proud thank to you. meet you. Thank you. And I just love you. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> so great. And thank you for being on our show. Oh, it's nice to be here. All right. Is February the 4th your birthday? Yes, it is. Well, it's my son's birthday as well, unless the day the okay. show's aired. All I've right, got something great. here for you. Oh, well, because I won't you. be with you on February the 4th. It's a dying breed. It's an English penny. <laughs> and it's the date of my birth, 1932. They haven't oh. made these. Well, they're antique, and so am I, as a matter of fact. Hey, Happy thank birthday. You. Thank Happy you. Birthday. Thank you. Best thing in water I've seen since Flipper. <laughs> You're gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And Lloyd Bridges hangs his head when you swim. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I wish you lots and lots of luck. Thanks. Let's meet Greg and the male old medalist right now. How you doing? Real good. Two gold? Yep. One silver in 76. This gentleman, when he gets up to dive, I think he's been made by Mattel. 
No, absolutely no problem. And every time it is, you astound me. You're marvelous. Absolutely. What's well, the best in the world? And I'm delighted to meet you. Thank you very much. All right. Let's meet the guys there, play. Okay, next today we've got Steve Lundquist. Oh, how are you seeing? Who won two gold medals in swimming. Next to him is Terry Schroeder, who was silver medalist in water polo, also the team captain and posed for the 1984 Olympic statue. You look very good, by the way, Terry. Next to him, we've got Mark, <laughs> reaching puberty. <laughs> Growing up. <laughs> that is the menace. <laughs> Who's next, Greg? <laughs> we've got Mark. <laughs> we've got Mark Gorski, who is gold medalist in cycling. All righty. Next to him is Peter Vitmar, who was two-time gold medalist, one silver in men's gymnastics. All right, give him a big round. <laughs> what charity? What charity are you playing for? We're playing for World Vision, Ethiopia Revision. All righty. We, we, yeah, we wish you lots of luck. Thank you. How are you? Fine, thank you very Good much. Good to have you here. Enjoy. Going to beat these ladies? <laughs> I hope so. All righty. <laughs> Harry, nice to see you. I didn't know that was you. How long did that take for you to <laughs> pose for that picture? I had to pose about 50 hours. 50 hours? My next question, was it cold? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Hey, you have a birthday today as we That's take? Right. Happy That's birthday. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Do you have a son, Alex? Right. That's How right. old is Alex? He's about 18 months old. Almost the same age as Mr. Kelly. <laughs> Happy birthday, oh, and that's for much. your son. You'll give him one a year, no more. <laughs> All right. All thank right. you very much. My pleasure. Birthday boy, happy birthday. Thank you. You also were at the summer. Pardon me? Weren't you in Houston? Yes, I was there too. You did a great job. Oh, thank you. Delighted you're here. It's let's win here. some money. Thank Play you. the feud, let's go. Come on. One hundred people surveyed, top five answers on the board. You got to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question. If you're involved in a traffic accident, name someone you call. Evelyn. An ambulance. No. Greg. Police. The police. No one. Quiet class. Good play. Good play. You got two nines and a ten. They threw out. <laughs> you're involved in a traffic accident. Name someone you'd call, see? Insurance man. Ah, the insurance. Yeah. Hear yeah. <laughs> sure how high you rate for that, okay? About the uh, hospital. Call a hospital. Call a hospital. <laughs> no. I don't think they delivered it. Mark. Uh, Have you ever been in an accident? Yeah. Okay. I... Who, who would you call, Mark? I'd say a tow truck. Gotcha. Tow truck! No, two strikes. He turned to the rescue. <laughs> the automobile club. Uh -huh. The automobile club. <laughs> Not there. Darlings, look at this. Come on. $58, three unrevealed answers. You can get the money. If you're involved in a traffic accident, name someone you call. Relative. 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 Neighbor, the where? You relative. Relative? Okay. All right, what, what, what relative? Just tell me. Mother. Oh, Just give me a, a relative, any relative. Well, yeah, we need what, whatever relative you mean, because there's lots of different relatives. Who um, would you call? Parents. Yeah, parents. I would. Mom and dad are there, Evelyn. You get the money, and if not, Greg will get it. Mom and dad. You got it. Number two. You call your spouse. Spouse to number five. Call a friend. Five, fifty-eight to nothing. Here we go. Come on. One hundred people surveyed. Top eight answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something people buy that is used mostly in the morning. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Good answer. Number one. Go play a pass. We're going to play. We're going to play it. <laughs> Maybe small, but she's dynamite. <laughs> Great, number one. Now, what do people buy that's used mostly in the morning? Deodorant? Deodorant. <laughs> yeah. Well done. I'm going to say breakfast cereal. Okay. 
Breakfast cereal. Yeah. Mary Lou sends me all of mine, uh, Tracy. I'll say coffee. Some coffee, please. You are good. We're going to get a big lead here. Come on now. When people buy, it's usually mostly in the morning. Bathrobe. A bathrobe. <clears throat> no. Okay. Good. I'm going to say an alarm clock. One alarm clock. Thank you. Um, hairbrush. Okay. Hairbrush. <clears throat> no. Okay, I'm going to say shampoo. Shampoo. <clears throat> Not that. Same that the girls got. Three unrevealed answers. Give me one of them. You got the money. What? When people buy it, it's used mostly in the morning. Razor. I think we're going to say a razor. A razor? Razor, you get nice even game. If not big lead, razor. <laughs> you got it. Number five. Miles Wash, seven. Ghost, <laughs> eight. Toothbrush. That's a great idea. Toothpaste and toothbrush. We'll be back right after <laughs> This summer, the password is triple. When we have a special week, 300 points wins the game. The ladies have all the money. 123, and the gentlemen, nothing yet. Let's go. Come on. Tracy, 100 people survey. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something brides show off. Novel? Yes. Address. Address. One answer will beat that. Something the brides show off. Quickly. Your husband? Their husband. Yeah. It is. You have control. All right. Do you know what you did here? Only because when you come up for the whole week, I don't want you to keep doing it. You went there. And I was first. Oh, yeah, you were. <laughs> you gotta you gotta hit that, all right? I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> what a bride show off, Mark. Their wedding ring. Their wedding ring. Yeah, that's oh, not just the pretty dress there, Bob. Well done. Mm, this is hard. Their cake. Their cake. <laughs> no. Greg. Their garter. Uh, uh -huh, I see. <laughs> Greg runs with a racy crowd. The garter. <laughs> no. Two strikes. They something bright. Show off. Their dowry. Ah, their dowry. <laughs> Third strike, $92. Don't come on. <laughs> Get to the starting blocks a little quicker, please. You guys help me, please. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Show me the bride show off. P wedding pictures. Okay. Pictures there, an enormous lead, if not the gentleman on the board. Pictures. You got it. In the chair. Good guess. All right. 2.15 to nothing. Here we go. Come on, Mark. Dollar Valley. Just one hand, David. Dollar Valley's a doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. What animal do you think can be taught the most tricks? Yes. A dog. A dog. It's number one. Will you play a pass? Don't play. Okay. Well, animal. animal you think can be taught the most tricks? A monkey? <laughs> okay. That's good. That's good answer. <laughs> they had a rock bird, didn't they? <laughs> yay, yay, we had a monkey. <laughs> what animal do you think can be taught the most tricks? I'll say a dolphin. Ah, a dolphin? I'll say a seal. A seal? A seal! A killer whale? Ah. Right. They never they don't kill them normally. I have to teach them that. Nothing worse than an armed killer whale. But you'll be the champs if it's there. Killer whale? No. 
Okay, you take. How about a horse? Sugar, good, eh? Good. <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? Four years old. How old are you? He's four. How old are you, Trigger? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Trigger. That'll be for the right to play for ten thousand dollars a horse. <coughs> no. Oh. Let me see. I thought you were going to have the money right there. What animal do you think can be taught the most tricks? I'm going to say a lion. Okay. If it's That's there, good. you got it. If not, get ready to steal, gentlemen. A lion. <coughs> no. Oh. Let's keep this game alive. Give it to okay. me if you can. What is it? Bird. Bird. Animal, you think can be taught the most tricks? A bird or a parrot. All righty. Little bird gets you the money. If not, you play for ten thousand dollars. Of them. bird. <laughs> you got it. No idea. <laughs> I don't. I can't think of it. Five. <laughs> They've never had children. Do you know that? An elephant never begets. It's a very well known thing. Will you stay and root the uh, ladies on as they win the Certainly. money? Certainly. Where else would you go? Dress for you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Playing for ten thousand dollars, I need two players. We'll go. Come on, Angel. Gracie and Nancy going for the gold. Right Should we win some money for the Special Let's Olympics? Do it. Ten thousand dollars. Fifteen seconds, please. Name the sport whose referees make the most mistakes. Baseball. A place you see horses. Rodeo. A prize won in raffles. Money. An article of clothing with pockets. Jacket. A color of jogging shoes. White. Turn around. <laughs> you didn't even look down, and you knew they were white. Sport whose referees make the most mistakes. You said baseball. Survey said. <laughs> Place you see horses. You said rodeo or rodeo. Rodeo drive. They buy a lot of <laughs> a lot of stuff there during the holidays. Survey. Oh, hey, God. prize one in raffles. Money. Survey said sixteen. Article clothing with pockets. You said a jacket. Survey said. Sorry. Going jogging shoes. White. Survey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's one answer. You need 69 points. 69 points, and you got $10,000. Good luck. Please remind everyone the great answers Tracy gave us. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name the sport whose referees make the most mistakes. Basketball. A place you see horses. In a rodeo. Try again. And a circus. A prize won in raffles. Money. Try again. TVs. An article of clothing with pockets. Pants. A color of jogging shoes. White. Try again. Brown. Brown. Turn around. Forty okay. referees make the most mistakes. Number one answer was football. Oh. Yeah, we're talking that over earlier with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, you said <laughs> basketball. Survey said. You won it now. Place to see horses. A farm was number one. You said the circus. Survey said. No. no they love movies. They very seldom go to the circus. Uh, <laughs> prize won in raffles. A car was number one. You said TVs. Survey said. Yeah. An article of clothing with pockets, and you said pants. We need 18 points for $10,000 for the Special Olympics. Show us your underall. <laughs> Survey said, give them the money. <laughs> Look at the, all the males on our Olympic medal.
medalist team playing for a very worthy cause, the World Vision Ethiopian Relief, and at the moment, there's no money in there. But we've got four more days at $10,000, so we can change that, all right? Ladies, playing for Special Olympics, $10,407. We'll see you here the next time on the screen. We love you. Bye-bye. A promotional fee has been paid or prizes furnished by Andis. Quality personal care appliances for the whole family. Designed for travel or home use. An assortment of hair helpers for your beauty needs furnished by Andis. The all-purpose Lazy Boy Ottoman can be a family favorite. Available in a choice of many fabrics and colors. Furnished by Lazy Boy Share Company. The Regina Steamer Carpet Cleaner is the latest way to deep clean your carpets. Easy to use, convenient, and affordable. No-nonsense pantyhose with a knit-to-fit design. Look and feel terrific in any style. When fashion sense makes good sense, that's no-nonsense. Introducing new Vaseline Lip Therapy, its unique applicator creates a moisture barrier that locks out wind and cold so you may never get chap lips again. Mazzola has a new taste that's fresh, light, and it's still cholesterol-free. So discover the untoppable new taste of Mazzola. Family Feud, a Mark Goodson television production.